I think you got, you shrugged to that stage and yeah. kept slow. <laughs> Hello, hello, this is Musket here. We apparently had a full crowd for Catherine versus Will D. Now it's Kay, uh, Kai versus McLeod and everyone leaves. No respect. No. Um, oh, it's already filled in. Lovely. Oh, am I being joined by a co-commentator? No solo commentary. I'm being joined by Will D. Hello. Well, you hit some hype stuff that last game. Yeah, that was fun. Dumb. I came in for the end of game one. It was looking very close, very close. Uh, yeah. No, I, was... I mean, when I don't expect to win, and then you have one close game, and then that's then have some fun after that, you know. Fair enough. Fair enough. You're like, yeah, I, I've proven my point. I've gotten this one. No. I, I thought you were going a different direction. You're like, oh god, like I didn't think I could do it. And then like, once I put, once oh, it no, got god, close, no. once it got close, I was like, oh no, where do I go? Where do I go from here? All right. Uh, are they doing Hamlet? Maybe. And it's always easy when you have like zero expectation for winning. If you win, it's cool. And if you don't win, you're like, eh. Yeah. So McLeod rocking a Daisy Peach now. He's on a mission to be the best Daisy Peach in the world. Uh, okay. It's not a hard, um, not the hardest task, but you know. I'm sure there's some random US Daisy Peach that's like just. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Like, there's no like white or. Oh, no, no. Like, I can't remember. Yeah. All well, the good ones are green these days. <laughs> the whole thing, yeah, like. Green, blue. No daisies. No yeah, white. No, no respect for the OG. Yeah. Oh. So I should make sure this is a bit closer. I'm used to, like, having it lower, because, like, um, my voice isn't usually muffled by the mask, but. Yeah, it's. I'm not used to this. Look, if necessary, you know? I don't know. It's kind yeah. of like. It's kind of weird, like when downstairs is like torture people without like, well, like the whole like no one really wears them, right? Yeah. Because like, we don't have any COVID, but yeah. Look. Follow the rules. You know. For the time being, yeah. we'll get through it soon. Yeah. It'll be. I think it's also because like we like to. I mean, yeah, downstairs is a ton of people. Yeah. Um, it's. Well, gamers aren't the best at um keeping to social distancing. Yeah. The notion of oh. One and a half meters, like, no, but uh, we need three people in this setup. We can't get three people. How are we going to get three people in this setup? About That'd be good, actually. Next BAM, just ban three people setups. But then, like, I guess that would require them to have a crap load more. Yeah, I was about to say, BAM, I love BAM. BAM usually has, like, an issue with the amount of melee setups also going, yeah. going to, uh, already. So let's get in. Okay, what are your thoughts in Fal against Falco? We have two peaches on the on the couch. Surely um, we can muster to give us some knowledge in this matchup. I just go in and try and mash buttons, and it usually works. Damn, all right. I <laughs> I have a much different approach. Yeah. Um, but I I think it's very much dict I mean, obviously it's Falco, so like it's very much dictated on what he does after the laser. But like um, everything has counterplay cards. Oh, okay. He likes doing those like optimal sort of like run off using the float and stuff but yeah he just misinput uh, it or something yeah maybe a little execution club um the thing is a lot of falcos will just go in and just like laser dead and depending on the spacings you can just dash back or you can if falco is close enough when he does laser you can just jab or dash attack him out of like the start up of death but if he's further away to the point where like you can't really get to him then you can potentially just like dash back and like Dash back down smash, dash back yeah. grab. I find it really hard to sort of like quantify exactly what my plan is. Mm -hmm. I just sort of like do it. I feel like I get Falco, I'm like in complete autopilot. Because mm. you don't really have time to sort of like to 
sit there in neutral and like think because you're just sort of like in a float above the laser. Yeah. And you just have you just see a good time to do a move and you sort of do it. Well, I just sort of do it. I think it's very easy to get like a false sense of urgency from lasers. Yeah. Like you're like, I'm getting hit. I need to do something now, even if they're only like two or three percent. Um. Obviously, you shouldn't just sit there and you know take the laser approach, but the big thing is, you know, obviously, like, the approach after the laser. Like, yeah. if, and, like, if you're getting lasered, you can just, like, full hop after, you know, laser hit, out of laser hit sun and float, unless you're, like, really close, but, you know. But, um, anyway. Back to, you know, what's actually happening right oh, now. Oh, yeah. It's, um... He's eaten a little bit of this back, you know, McLeod. He's... He's, he's got it in pretty, pretty crazy punish game, so it's, like... This needs a clean hit. That's the thing, yeah. If playing like box against him, it's um, it's very easy to just randomly like lose a stock out of nowhere and be like, "Wow, damn." Yeah. It's happened. Oh no, but you can't be, you can't be slipping on the side B. Yeah. We've all been hit by that. I'm sure you've been hit by, that. especially you know net play. Nowadays, a lot of Falcos are just sometimes you mess up. They hit a side B and yeah. they get a um their edge guard. I think I've gotten like better at it, where you sort of like. You just can sort of feel like just like the early there. Yeah. And it sort of just it goes out enough where it sort of works, but it happens, yeah. So not really do, like doing it partially based on like timing or like based on reacting to the sound, but also just like having a feel like oh he's in this position he's gonna side B. Yeah. Right. Like especially when they like with the ledge or whatever, you sort of like catch like the like slightly above the ledge, like slightly below the ledge or whatever. Mm. <laughs> So, yeah, I can't wait to out. I like, like talking about that, but yeah, um... What was a weird... Game, at least. Look, look, you know. It was a weird, a weird little grab before last dock and, um... Ah, he, uh, did, he did what I did, just bunged out the... the, the stitch out thing, yeah. <laughs> yeah, last dock is still very spooky for the Falco. Yeah, it's... I think Falco Peach last dock is, like... He's favored by like no matter what the percent is. <laughs> yeah, it's just because the the yop the Falco brain's like I don't want to lose this and like that mentality makes you just sort of lose. This percent is so huge. It's like yeah. so easy to just get down smash and take like 40 into a knockdown. Um, okay. It's so hard to get that bear actually. Like mm. good Falcos don't let you bear them when they hit you. No, it's yeah. Especially like. McLeod will go for like very very fast, even potentially like fastball first bears. Yeah. And if you mess up fastball first and you're just randomly like doing it on fastball. Yeah, you get on. And oh, that was that's nice. Oh. Okay. Now, now we're getting to the percent where Nair's knocking down and things get. Oh, the power shoe, yeah. Oh, that. Oh. That, 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 that was a very sketchy up B from Kai, but McLeod kind of didn't do anything to like really punish it. Okay. Falco really wants a bear or down tilt right now. And um, I said like the. Oh no! Damn. Damn. I just like Kai at the center of the stage for like a whole minute there. And then... There's no reason to really overcommit, right? Yeah. You got if at that percent, it's like there's no point running in doing an air. It's very tempting to you know run into a bad narrow dare. But like that's what I always do when I'm like down last stock, I sit the ledge and pray. <laughs> it did work, it's funny. Yeah, yeah. I think FD is such a weird stage, it's like you always read about like Falco Peach stuff, it's like, oh just float above the laser, but it's like on FD you sort of like there's no reason for the Falco to ever do anything, you're just like sitting there like floating or anything. Yeah. Oh it's sort of like the Falco like Gets a lot out of FD because of that, mm. but you know you also just die get grab. So that's true. It can be so hard to get a grab as well. Like, yeah. On, it's like it's not just as. Oh oh oh! This is that, that was, was very crazy. very clean. There's definitely like the peach like level where like you go from being like doing like peach things into like actually just like doing the correct punish game. Such a huge like leap. Oh for sure. One hot like. I Action. think for me, I would like rely on not on like getting a straight hit and almost like tech chasing or just like reading because McLeod knows the flow charts for the punish games and stuff. Mm. 
I think the two big things are like, oh, that was very, very. I think that I, slap dashes are so cool. Yeah. I, every time I do them, I like to send my whole brain power doing it, so I just like get owned. But like, if you just do them, like, yeah. That's the thing, you, just, you can use it more and more, and eventually you incorporate it and it becomes like, becomes natural. Um, but going back to like Peach Punish game, it's. I think once, like, learning to, like, very, being very comfortable incorporating soft bears and soft nares, yeah. and, like, getting just faster up airs, just getting used to doing, like... Yeah. Like, if I see, up. like, a guy above me, I just up air them, that's it. Whereas, the cloud knows how to convert that into another up air or something else. Yeah. I think Kai's definitely doing this, like, the sort of Falco, like, again, similar thing, I guess, with the whole level of stuff. It's like, for me, when I'm playing against Falco, Against like um, Bailey or Kai, it's like you can't get free hits on them. Like you have to, like, that makes the matchup like ten times harder mm. because you have to earn your neutral wins. But against like lower level Falcos, you just sort of yeah like you just mash buttons. Or like, again like if they just do like a Nero against you, you can just shield it and then bear. Yeah, and that gives you like so much mileage and free space to do whatever you want. But sure. like Kai and just one that like, you just bear for free. No, it makes no. a whole difference to the game. Oh. Because if you try and like do an like an approaching bear, the hitbox is typically not going to be as yeah. like strong. It's like a bear out of shield sort of thing. The thing is, stuff like bear out of shields, like it's hard because like you can do like low cancel bears out of shield, but yeah. a the timing is tough, and b it's like even perfectly done, it's a few frames like you yeah. get at least like what one frame slow because of the float. Yeah, that's, that's like why two. like a newbie Falcon killer is bear out of shield. Yeah, but it does not work against better people. Uh, he went for, he guessed, uh, tech away. Alright, how are we closing out the stop? Probably, probably, oh, probably bail down tilt. Probably bad, to be honest. Kai okay, always just does like the massive pillar combos on me, but like he doesn't have to be happening as much. He's sort of like taking center stage and he's getting like the, the hits. Okay, we're gonna see here, well yeah. That's, a lot of Falcos in that spot will try and do an up tilt after that dare. Yeah. And Peaches will just, like, better Peaches will just float above it and then just come down. But... I always get hit by the second one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, sh he should be able to. Oh, oh, what the hell? Such a good tech. Did he, did he have to, like, SDI in for that or did he just tech it? I would assume he had to SDI in, right? Off that, like. Damn, good effort. Good effort. On. Well, it's hard. In that situation, last dock, um, there was a little bit of hesitation on that side B by Kai initially, the first one. Yeah, was trying I to said, like, Peach, Peach Falco, Peach always wins like the last dock. No. Well, no, but it's easier. That, that like slightly delayed his side B. I think like he could have like... Because yeah. I mean, you said you, he's, he's making it back, and I thought it was low as well, yeah. Mm. Um, but it's hard, yeah, I know myself, last dock, it's like... <laughs> even if you can hit that like perfectly timed, perfectly spaced uh, side B in training mode. Yeah. Tournament's a different thing. All right, going to Battlefield. We've got the top plat. Uh, it's very easy to retreat to it. Peach has a lot of issues actually covering it. Like, I mean, I think this whole, this whole set, Kai just had the center stage, and then McLeod just had the bigger punish game or something. Mm. Nice, that's sick. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I remember watching that Quetz video, like, yeah, like, like years ago, I'm like, oh, that's so cool. And I tried it once, I'm like, oh, that's sick. But never say, yeah. yeah it's it, it requires so much brain power to do it. You're just like so obvious, charging forward. You just dumb slap dash, and then you just get owned. But it also like requires you to know when to go for it. Yeah, a lot of people, yeah. especially at like, especially at like, say, random on ranks, you know, a lot of play like on Slippy or whatever. People aren't going to like. People a lot of times are gonna like try and put out a hitbox to deal with your hitbox. And, yeah, like, he's gonna own, yeah. You need to have you, know, you need to understand that they're going to shield to actually throw it out. You can't just throw it out as like a first option. Like Go Kai, platform camping. <laughs> yeah, but he's down to, you know. It'd be funny. He just <laughs> He's down two stocks and he just decides, yeah, you know, yeah. now's the time to Oh no, well this uh, is uh yeah. looking like a write-off. Yeah, right off. Right off game. You know, GG go next. Um Oh, everything's going. Enough. Everything's not going his way. Alright, oh, yeah, that should be it. Man. Yeah. Oh, he made it back too. Alright, yep. Fair enough. Alright, well. I'm sure Peach is having fun.
Sure, Peach is you know, thinking this is fun. Um, poor Falco. Falco's just getting bobbed. Yeah. Getting sna smacked around. Ready? Okay, Stadium. No top flat. Peach dies off the top a lot quicker, though. <coughs> Wait, are we into Yoshi's yet? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Not bad. I believe so, yeah. Um, and now I'm second guessing myself. Did we go game one to Yoshi's? No, it was Stadium. No, it was it was the big one. Dreamland. Oh, yeah. So we don't think we've been to Yoshi's. You're right. I would have thought Yoshi's like 10 times better than Stadium, but like. I don't know. It's spooky against Peach, though. If Peach Die. is like comfortable boxing and you're not as like. If I Kite, guess. If Kite isn't the most comfortable, like. Yeah, because he has been taking just like center stage control these last whole set. Maybe yeah. He wants the space, maybe. Like, I guess my logic is that like if the cloud just kind of like edge guard him every time anyway, he may as well just go for the small stage. But yeah, but a small stage is a lot easier to be put in this edge guard. So it's like true, true. off a random like near knock. Nice. A random near at seventy on like stadium is not as likely to put him in the edge guard spot. It's just a text situation, which yeah. a lot of times features struggle covering. Um, Whereas Yoshi's yeah. The dare didn't connect, I guess the dare hitbox wasn't active that frame that Kai was like grabbing. Yeah, I don't from. know. Like I always I like to find that one out as well, but Because uh. I mean dare isn't like one active hitbox. There are like frames in between where right. you know, just nothing comes out. Oh, I really love that fair. I'm not sure if that was intentional, but like yeah, it worked. It, yeah, just to it put him on, to me. Just to put him on like that um other side fight. Or yeah, the left yep. side fight of stadium and just it's just so annoying when you just can't kill. When you can't hit. <laughs> oh, okay. A little empty hop into, I guess, a turnaround bear. It's a turnaround bear. I love that West Balls clip where, like, he's playing some Peach. I thought, like, actually, the one that came to, like, the band, Vitessa. Vitessa oh, yeah, comes, yeah, yeah. He's, yeah. like, Vitessa on, like, a 200%. He comes and, like, fares, like, West Balls. West Balls is like, fuck, why is he camping? Oh, I know, yeah. It's so funny. <laughs> These kids can't kill him. Is that Oh, uh, a little, little bit of um, Oznet playing that. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna say any names, but you know, a little bit of unranked vibes. Okay. I do like double A's and get in. <laughs> Don't we all? Yeah. Don't we? <laughs> it's like no, screw you. I mean, things like at least Kai, like Kai has competent ledge dashes. You run into some Falcos that will just like only uh, double laser <laughs> or like side B. I feel like that's just to me, that's like the quets because he always does that or, like when we play on that play, but mm. it looks cool. Yeah. Oh, the fight. The thing is, if you have good ledge dashes and you force them to, um, like, they, you force them to give up some space yeah. as a result of it, that opens up double laces. That makes it a lot better. Like, yeah, because if it makes like the, the mix up, not just like a default. Like, if I'm playing a Falco that can't ledge dash, I'm just like standing right next yeah, to right. Legend, just putting out a hitbox above them. Whereas, like, if I have to respect ledge dash, I have to go up a certain amount of space. I think that whole like Kai missing ledge dash meme isn't really a thing anymore. Not really. Like, it was like a year ago or whatever. No. Or He's like the controller. Oh, the, like the random controller, like yeah, you, like you'd always like pick a new controller, it would be shit. And now it's like he just sort of hits them, right? Yeah, you just yeah. Look, we're all out there trying to find the perfect controller. Um, uh, I'm not. No, 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 no yeah. I want the panda one or whatever it's called. Well, yeah, get delayed, right? I should, yeah. I should rephrase. We're all out, we're all out there hoping we just randomly get the perfect controller. <laughs> yeah. Some of us will look for it. Some of us will just, you know. Well, this one isn't that great. Maybe in three years when it, you know, breaks, the next one will be good. Yeah. Alright, back to the last dock, Peach, Falco, spooky stuff. Yep. As always, he has the center stage. Oh, oh. up throw there! You should never get hit by up throw. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, get on. <laughs> I remember a while back, I'm um, joking about it being the Milo killer. That, like, up, and then, like, Garen Kai saying, like, yeah, no, that was a musket kill beforehand. Oh, I was yeah. like, aww. <laughs> Every time I get hit by right. anything after an after, I'm like, oh, I bug it up. Yeah. Yeah. There's, like, this, because it's just, it's counterplay. There's, like, so much you can you be doing. Die, right? Yeah, you can, just, you can, um, you should be just realistically getting hit by the lasers and then just CI them. I think with Falco, if you just hold left or right, you can't really get hit, can you? 
Or Depending on the percent in the character. Right. So I'm like... I'm mean, that's Peach, that's Peach. That's Peach? I'm actually not 100% sure, actually. For me, it feels like I just don't ever get hit if I just DI one of the Yeah. Either. But maybe, I don't know. I... I think Fox, there are like some follow-ups at certain percents where like if you don't get hit by the late lasers, you Dark Ghost still has a follow-up. I think... If... I just think though, if you um, DI full behind, and in TSE at least, because I don't think you can DI behind in the power. As oh, well. yeah, no, I just smash a button. Just smash, yeah, yeah. Fair enough, fair enough. Oh, nice. I think this whole, yeah, this, this game, Kai again, just has to set a stage. He has a, he's a plan, it's working, I like that. Mm. Let's dash jab, it's good. Cool. Oh, tricky movement. I think both players, like, yeah, really trying their best to get the, the first neutral win. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty big deal in this match. Yeah, it's yeah. It's like you can tell they're both, like, have plans to come into when they come into the neutral. Mm. I mean, obviously they do, but like it just this this sort of slower game highlights it even more. Yeah, for sure. Um, that was a that was an iffy like that was an iffy pair by um, but he was just like trying to guess I guess read that like yeah. cover the side beat. I think he's doing a slide too early. Like he's picking his float high and then Kai just not going where he's floating. Mm. Ooh, that was a dummy box, but anyway. Yeah. Look, Peach Bear. Like, you know, Kai's done, really, Kai's done a great job building up his lead, but it's so easy for it to just yeah. disappear in a blink of an eye. Ah, oh, lazy air smash. I think the one thing that like isn't really happening is that like Kai... I don't know if it's like with Cloud's like, de like defensive game or not, but Kai isn't really getting many like Nair or Dare shines and stuff like that. Oh. Like for me, like when I get like sort of stuck like in neutral, I just sort of get like Nair shined a lot, where it's like... Mm -hmm. Kai's really has to work for his hits. That's true. You can make, like, stuff like Dare Shine, you can make it so much trickier with FDI. Yeah. Which... It's, it's scary. Like... There's not that much fraudulent neutral going on, I think. No. I, I could be wrong, but to me it seems like that. Yeah, I think... Kai's also punished, um, the Cloud's just, like, uh, like, ledge stuff. Or well, the Peach's bad ledges a lot. He's killed him a lot of just, like, the regular get-up. And... Yeah, I feel like that last, uh, regular get-up wasn't intentional. Maybe. That's... It's such a risky guy. Like, doing it above 100, you're like basically hoping that they just messed up. Yeah. But they I, don't rec they don't recognize it. Because you have so much time to recognize it and then punish it. Like, yeah. if you time it right. I always just regularly get up. And I, yeah, I don't really like look percent. Or like, I often just don't realize I'm above 100. Oh, I just ah. throws it out there. Getting hit by a, like an F smash. Oh, oh saves him, I think. yeah. It's just, yeah, frustrating. Oh, really good. You really want to see like, the confidence to still be ledge dashing in these game yeah. five, you know, situations. The game plan has to change at the start. No, yeah. Because like, there's so many spots where you can't be thinking to yourself, well, if I mess it up, I'm going to die. Because there's a lot of spots where if you just go for the like easy, worst option, you're going to die regardless. You know? Yeah. Oh, really good side um, I'm sure McLeod can tell when people start doing that. Yeah. Oh, that's I think that's it. Yep. This spot can be really brutal. This is for Falco. He's still yeah. a few good neutral wins away from closing out, and it's just so easy to go from zero to fifty. Oh, that was a like yeah, nice floats. Ah, uh, I thought that wasn't gonna kill. I was like, damn, <laughs> Falco got sucks. That. But yeah. no, he got it. Um. Ooh. Chains up the float hide. Oh, oh really good possible. Yeah, yeah. Now, this is the first like actual like sort of spaghetti of the set. A little bit, a little bit. Oh the empty the empty float. That was a grabs. Oh no. That was a Yeah, we've had fish, that was the game. That, yep. Oh up up for got hit right up there again! <laughs> oh, really good fadeaway off that, um, off that nair to just avoid the nair to shield. Dash attack. Ah, oh, oh, unfortunate. That was a good set. That was a good set. Yeah, that, was a, that was a really insane set. Uh, I believe we have loser semis now. Whew. Losers. Semis. Which I'm guessing is Caleb and Kath? No idea. 
Caleb's standing up, so I'm going to assume it's him. We have Caleb and... Unless one of them got upset by someone else, but I doubt it. 